why people fail to grow the right way and hence they grow to fail is that they do not take time to understand foundation or to lay a foundation. It is critical to understand what cultural realities are. There are only three cultural realities that pertain to human existence. We have the Al-Kabulan cultural reality. We have the Asian cultural reality. And then we have the European cultural reality. And for all intensive purposes, we will compound the Asian and the European cultural realities as the Eurasian cultural reality. When we talk about socialization, we should talk about cultural realities. Whose orientation has been dispensed in one's faculties? When you focus on that which matters, other stuff that don't matter become inconsequential. Find out what matters. You matter. Posterity matters. And restoring health of mind matters. You do this by inculcating oneself within the Alkabulan cultural reality. Connect to elders who have lived to see their mistakes, who can give you guidance, connect to the works and contributions of ancestors, who have seen the world before your set of eyes. That is how you begin the restorative process. Mchikato. A process. Because you determine to get healthy, does not mean because you determine it is going to happen like that. <laughs> because you wake up tomorrow, you're like healthier. It's a process. A process that necessitates different components. The question is, do you have that dedication? Do you have that discipline? And most importantly, are you willing to represent that which must become for posterity? That will be your driving force. And again, when you begin that determination, then that and who, that does not matter, remains in that section. They don't matter. They become inconsequential. But if you do insist on depending on degenerates for your levity cues, for your social cues, yeah, wow. toil you will. You will continue to toil. And yes, be misguided at your expense and those of your seeds for generations to come. They are not in the flesh infinitely. There is an expiration date. And so that being said, you have work to do. It's either you are working for the interests of your cultural reality or you working at your expense for the interest of another's cultural reality we will work either way but the question is for who and how so what you should know is the importance of receiving and journeying with guidance I've been opportuned to know heritage, lineage for the past 1,260 years of family. And as far as my dedications to a people of Al Kabulan, my commitment has been 
to understand the relationship of my family in relation to other peoples of the world since 1675 BC to date, for which I offered my faculties to the guidance of elders and a lot who are now ancestors. So that I, as well, may ensure that the gift of time that has been granted is spent exemplifying that which is Al-Kabulan, that which must become of posterity that which needs be in rectification of the wrongs a people have been made to endure. But all that begins with you and I recognize it that we have work to do. But for who? So in the need of ensuring that there is a guidance for the minds of a people intergenerationally, a compilation of directives has been put together in a book titled Private Parts in public places, a confrontation with self and the realities of the world. This serves as a guide for the mind of Al Kabulan intergenerationally. So I would encourage you to be serious about acquiring that which you must to live the life which you need and prepare the next generation accordingly for the responsibilities they need assume for the interest of Al-Kabulan. Asa.